just has dribbled all over me. I don't think I'll put that on properly. You're probably thinking, Jess, have you had a mental breakdown? Maybe, but I kind of thought that, you know, as much as my general vlogs are me kind of doing my, like, my what I eat in a days, occasionally it's like a little bit something else, but I kind of thought I would show you more of a realistic what a day in my life looks like. I have not got my lashes on today. Um, last night I just fancied giving my eyelashes a bit of a break, so I took them off, um, smothered them in Vaseline, and then irritated my eyes with it, so this eye is very sore this morning. I also had a bit of a, um, a day yesterday where I just felt a bit ugly. And I know that, like, and I'm not looking for compliments or anything like that. So I don't feel myself. I'm breaking out because of that time. So I decided to put some false tan on. I've woke up this morning. I think it looks worse on camera, I'm not going to lie. But, like, in person it doesn't look that bad. So I've put false tan on last night, which I, I hate it. It smells... But it does make me feel a little bit better about myself, so so that's what I've done. Yeah, today I kind of thought I would take you through a more of a realistic what my day looks like. Aside from the fact that I look like I've got a moustache at the minute, this is me, warts and all. I just thought I would just show you a full kind of get ready with me, along with like what I get up to today. So yeah, if you do enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up and go and hit that subscribe button below. You know the spiel. I feel like I say the same thing in every video, but then, you know, if we have new people, then they, they might not know. So, yeah. When I started this channel, I never, ever thought that I would feel comfortable going on camera looking like this. I feel like we're a family here. We're all friends, you know. This is the reality of what I look like. <laughs> and you can either like it or lump it, unfortunately. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to make myself a coffee. And then I'm going to make some breakfast. I need a stick. Oh, that's some better light. And it doesn't look as bad in the kitchen. I mean, I do still have greasy hair. But, you know, I am going to shower. It'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, what am I having? What have I come down here for? Food and coffee. Am I going to have a posh coffee this morning? I think I might. So the question is, because as well, I've also been using a different type of coffee, which is, so I've got two here, which I'll show you. And that is the, this one, which you're probably used to seeing, and these are two sins per pod and 40 calories. And these ones are the skinny cappuccinos, which are also very nice. And they are two and a half sins, so only an extra half sin. And they are 50 calories. So, yeah, I might have a, um, a cappuccino this morning. And these ones, because these ones you just put the one pot in and then that's your coffee done. But these ones have a coffee one and a milk one. So you put the milk in first and do that one and then you put the, the coffee in. So, yeah, I'm going to have one of them. told you last time <clears throat> I think I did but this is basically what I do with these pods because look how much liquid comes out of them so then this can now go in the bin or in the recycling and this is my coffee how pretty is that like gradient between the milk and the coffee unfortunately we need to ruin it now and mix it so yeah so this one is two and a half sins or 50 calories so i am just gonna go and have my coffee i've put a sausage and a hash brown in the oven they are going in for about 20 to 30 minutes um i've used one of the aldi skinny pork sausages which is half a sin i did actually do the calories for this hang on so the the skinny pork sausages is only 74 calories and the hash brown is 78 calories 
Um, the hash browns two sins and the sausage is half a sin. So I'm gonna let them cook and then I'm gonna be making my omelette. So this is breakfast. The omelette I made at burning my hands, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So in total, this comes to 277 calories, and the and for Slimming World, it comes to two and a half sins. So I am just gonna go and eat that and then uh, drink my coffee, and then I'm gonna go in the shower and get more kind of ready for the day because I can't spend my days looking like this, unfortunately. Well, isn't this attractive? Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do my skincare first um, whilst my hair kind of air dries a little bit. So I've been using on my hair, I saw it on TikTok and it was a, it was like a super drug dupe to Olaplex and it's just making my hair feel delicious. So um, it's called the Hair Boss. I've just got the shampoo at the minute because it's not, it's not the cheapest of ranges but it is cheaper than actual Olaplex so I've been using that. I kind of feel like if I were to put some proper effort into this like I would have curly hair. Am I wrong? Anyone who's got curly hair out there please tell me is there a way that this is possibly curly hair because I feel like I have straightened my hair for that many years that I am unsure as to whether it's straight or curly or like how it would be naturally. When I dry it it kind of poofs. You'll see in a minute, but yeah. I will actually show you the um, the shampoo. One minute. So it is just this one. It is called the Hair Boss. Um, and this is just, like I say, the shampoo. So I really need to do my nails as well because they are chipping so bad. I think this is one of the big differences I find with my acrylics. The nail varnish just lasts so much longer, I find. Whereas, like, it just doesn't chip. I don't know why. Um... But yeah, so since I've taken my acrylics off and painted them, they are all chipped, so I need to do them as well. Do you know what I mean by fluffy now? <laughs> so yeah, this is my hair. Enter straighteners, right on time. At the same time, I'm gonna be putting my extensions in as well. This is a perfect example of how not to look after your extensions. So I actually used to have um, jet black hair as well, which would have been ideal for lockdown um, because I used to just do it myself. Um, I used to use a box dye, but that did ruin my hair a little bit. I mean, not saying that bleach is um, any better, but box dye definitely did no favours for my hair. But it would have been a lot easier for this pandemic because I would just literally slap it on myself at home. Um, just a little box dye, black. And, and I know for a fact that if I were to try to dye my hair or do my roots blonde again, then it would be an absolute disaster. Because funny story for you, actually, the transition between black and blonde, I mostly did myself um, and then went to the hairdressers when I realised that it was not going to go blonde. I'm very undecided as to what I want with my hair because I want, I want both extremes. I want really long hair and I want short hair. I don't know what to do with it, to be fair. I think having it short is probably the easier option because you can just add extensions, but like I say, it is harder to blend then. I was also thinking as well, so I need to go to um, B&M today to try and pick up, so it's my cousin's birthday um, today and we're having a Zoom call party later um, where we're gonna sort of watch him open his presents and things, but I need to go and buy him his present. Um, and then just like post it through the letterbox. So he is very into gaming and things, so me and my sister are joining up and getting him a Fortnite card, like gift card for V-Bucks, I think they're called, um, where it's just basically currency for his Fortnite game, um, which I think he would appreciate. So I need to go there. And I'm also thinking about, because obviously I sent back my air fryer, because also I sent back my air fryer, didn't I? And I'm missing it. <laughs> and it's it's weird thing to say because I didn't have it very long, but I know for a fact that they are good. And I've managed with my oven for so long that I was like, oh, I don't really need it. 
but now like I look at my kitchen I'm like I'm missing my air fryer because I know for a fact that it's good so I think I might have a look and be and what's down there at air fryers We now have Billy here who's decided to join us. So um, if you see if you see a tail <laughs> come across the camera, that's why. I look like a completely different person. I feel like I'm not sure on these eyelashes. I just found them in my drawer and I like the look of them on the palette thing. But now that I've got them on, I feel like they're a little bit much for an everyday, but they're on now, so we're sticking with them because I can't be bothered to change them now. So yeah, I might get changed actually because I'm wearing, I'm wearing like all black. I've got black leggings and a black top on and I feel like that is the wrong thing to wear when it's so sunny outside. So I'm gonna get changed. Um, I don't know what into yet, but um, something maybe is a little bit more summery, but then I need to see whether it's still cold outside because as much as the sun is probably shining, I bet you it's still freezing. Maybe it's a jumper and shirt combo. Let's try that. So this is what I've gone for. Um, I've decided this jumper is just from H and M, and I think the shirt was from Primark, but ages ago. It's like them ones that you, it's them ones that you get for like school. So yeah, so I've just obviously done that up to the top, and then I've got my jumper on. I've still got my leggings on, um, and I'm undecided as to what shoes to wear. And he's like desperately trying to get into my cupboards. I'm gonna change my earrings. There we go. So. Isn't it funny how, like, I've, I'm just getting pretty much dressed up today to go to B&M? Right! So I'm in the car and I am off to B&M now. I have got my mask ready. Um, come to think of it, I'm not sure I'm going to find these Fortnite cards in um, B&M. So, I'm pretty sure, like, Tesco's or someone might do them. And then I need to buy a birthday card as well and get that signed and sent off. So, yeah. I am gonna go and do that. So I've actually decided to come to um, my local Asda instead just because I'm not sure that there will be what I need in B&M. So, um, but I know that this has like a whole entertainment section. I've actually parked really close to this thing as well. So wish me luck in getting out here. Don't have it, so. Oh, actually, whilst I'm here, I might actually have a look for a new frying pan because I do need some new stuff like that. Because my pan's been completely ruined. I feel like it's been ruined by fry light. Um, so, yeah, I need to get a new frying pan. I always get a little bit obsessed with the mugs as well. No, I don't need another mug. I don't need another mug. Stop it, Jess. Well, that was not successful at all. Um, Actually, no, it was slightly because although this is the problem that I've got with going shopping is that I go for one thing and I come up with something completely different. So um, I couldn't get the gift card that I wanted. I feel like we're going to have to um, just put money in the envelope and tell him that that's what it's for, um, which I think he'll still be happy with. But yeah, so I'm going to go to a cash point and do that. Um, but yeah, I bought a, <laughs> I bought a frying pan. <laughs> so... 
Right, so I've just got back now and I'm gonna make some lunch. I think I'm just gonna have some pea and ham soup. So all the recipes will be in the description just because obviously I'm not doing like the usual step-by-step -step tutorial in this. Um, so if you are interested in any of the meals that I'm making in this video, then I'll leave a link for where you can go and find the recipe for that. So yeah. I'm just gonna make some lunch. So it's pea and ham soup. This is sin free on Slimming World and comes to 346 calories if you're calorie counting. So I am just gonna go, whoa, what's happening with this? Uh, who are you pointing at? So I'm gonna go have my lunch and then I'm gonna go and do some work. I also need to paint my nails still because they're still icky. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go and do that and I will check in with you later. So I've had my lunch now and to say that I am procrastinating to the max to not do work is a little bit of an understatement. Um, I'm currently sat watching YouTube videos <laughs> um, when I should be doing other things but yeah, Billy's having a little look outside. I've just made myself a little cup of coffee in a J mug. This is one that I got from B&M. Whenever I make like a new cup of coffee, like how long do you need to wait until it's drinkable? because sometimes I'll drink it and I'll like burn my entire mouth off um, and then sometimes it's just that little bit too lukewarm so yeah how long do you wait I don't know I mean that one was all right and then I am going on the zoom call with um, my cousin and my family just to do a birthday present opening this is the worst angle in the world Hang on. is that better I've got my iPad set up here just there, and all this little mess that we've got in the background is my shampoo from this morning that still needs to go away. I've had to close the blinds because um, the sun is setting and wasn't very good lighting for me. So yeah, I am actually quite excited because we haven't done like a um, like a Zoom call like we did in the first lockdown in so long. So it'll be nice to kind of see everyone again because because the last time that we did one of these kind of calls was at Christmas when we seen everyone, but before. Like before that we used to do quizzes, like once a week at least. So yeah, it'd be nice to see everyone. What's she on the, the bottom of wine there, Jessica? No varnish remover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the hard stuff. <laughs> Happy birthday! 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 Happy Hey! You see Max? Max! To Andrew, happy birthday. Use this money to buy V-Box with... Oh, thanks, Jess! Uh, and Catherine. <laughs> So I've just finished that Zoom call. It was nice to see everyone. Um, just nice to obviously see you having your birthday in lockdown's not the best. Since I have come out of there, I've just painted my nails. I've went for this colour here, which is like a um, sort of nudie brownie pink sort of thing. And it's actually a Topshop one that I picked up ages ago. And I was laughing at the shade because it's called Cafe Olé, which is... The coffee that I drink nearly every morning so yeah I thought that was appropriate so yeah I'm gonna go and do a little bit of housework before making my tea and then I'm just gonna be chilling I think after that that's about it don't know if it's just me that's excited that I'm using my new frying pan <laughs> oh my god this is the the blessing of being an adult that the exciting things in our lives are things like frying pans um just covering my face with it there the other week it was um, air fryers and now it's frying pans. What a life, eh? What a life. So anyway, I am making a um, kebab fake away. So like I said before, the recipe for this will be in the description if you want to go and check that out. Um, I will actually, I do feel like doing maybe a, um, like a fake aways video where I just do like a couple of my favourite ones. So if you want like a step by step on how I make this, then please do let me know um, and I will get cracking on with that. So yeah. And this is my tea for tonight. So we have the chips here which are 172 calories and they are sin free. I've coated them as per usual in the JD Seasonings Chips and Wedges Seasoning and uh, you can still get 20% off your entire order using the code JustCats20 so I'll leave a link in the description for their website if you wanted to go and check them out. Um, I've also got some of the shawarma kebab here. This is 262 calories. The one I've used is this one. It's the Vivera one and it's one and a half cents for the whole pack. 
or 262 calories for um, the whole pack as well. Uh, the wholemeal pitta is my healthy bay for the day and is also 180 calories and then I've got the salad on the side which is speed food on Slimming World and like there's no calories in that basically. Um, and then I've got a tablespoon worth of garlic sauce and this is 74 calories so it's three sins for the tablespoon that I've used. Um, and so that makes this a total of four and a half sins using my Healthy Bay and calorie wise it is 689 calories which isn't too bad for a fake way I don't think. The garlic sauce that I'm using by the way is the Heinz garlic sauce and I quite like this one. So I have just been watching Behind Her Eyes on Netflix. I can't remember if I mentioned this in my, in my last video but I was, I was, I've been watching it the last like few days. What is, what actually happened? Like, I, I understand what happened, obviously, but like, how did it suddenly go from, I just, I'm confused as to how it suddenly went from what it was to what it ha to what it was. I think I'm gonna need, like, three to five business days to get over that ending. I don't know how I felt about it, but you know, yeah. And I need some good suggestions for what to watch next because I am still watching The Vampire Diaries um, but I just need something else kind of like in between to watch. Um, so yeah. But I would definitely recommend it if you are um, wanting to watch something. It says thriller on it but it's not scary so like don't worry if it's like you think it's scary but it's not. Just to sum up my day kind of eating wise, five cents for breakfast including the coffee, Lunch was sin free and my tea was five sins, including my yoghurt. So that makes 10 sins for the day. In regards for calories, I'll just break it down. Hang on. Let me see my diary. So breakfast was 277 calories. Lunch was 346 and dinner was 785. And then adding on my uh, cappuccino, which was 50 calories, I came to 1,458 calories for the day, which did leave me with like 244 remaining for what my... Um, goal was for the day but I am quite happy with what I've eaten today. I think the problem that I've got is that like with snacking especially is that once I start I can't stop so if I start snacking that's it that's my day ruined um so yeah that is kind of one of the reasons why I don't snack and I also try to make my main meals like substantial enough so that I don't really need to snack um but yeah so yeah, that is my day. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. It is a little bit different to what I usually do. Um, I do plan on doing like the same sort of what I eat in days where I like break everything down and show you how I make everything. Um, but I just thought like have a little bit of a, a chatty day, just show you what I get up to, which is obviously not a lot at the minute. Let me know if you did um, like this style of video and I might do a few more of them. Um, or if you want anything which is more specific, like if you want me to break down my skincare routine or if you want me to go into more detail about what makeup I use, etc, etc. Like, I don't know what you guys want from me, so yeah. So if you did enjoy the video, then please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I upload next, then you can hit that bell as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.